Good evening, everyone. Good God evening. bless you, and thank you for joining us tonight in our Sunday School Golden Nuggets uh, with yours truly, Prophetess Darlene Spraglin, along with my husband and the superintendent of our Sunday School, Deacon David Spraglin, and we're members of the Destin for Change Ministry, where Pastor Geneva Alexander is a visionary. Amen. We thank God for this time and this place. And this session tonight with you, uh, it's raining here in Dallas. Yes. It's raining real good. Real good. A little thundering and lightning maybe popping through. But uh, we're going to go ahead and press through uh, this lesson tonight. In fact, this is a very short lesson. So as you come on, I hope you're coming on with your um, Sunday school books mm -hmm. and or your uh, Bibles and technical devices and follow through with us through the scriptures tonight. I'm going to read you our opening scripture tonight, which is in one of the background scriptures of this lesson. And it's Isaiah 51, verses 1 to 3, and it reads as thus, Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are hewed, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. For the Lord shall comfort Zion, he will comfort all her waste places, and he will make her wilderness like Eden, and the desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Amen. May the Lord bless the reader and the hearer of his word. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you for this opportunity, God, for this assignment, Father, yes. for this uh, special place that you, O oh God, have given us the authority to occupy. We thank you, God, for our life, health, and strength. Yes. We thank you for the activities of our limbs. We thank you for blessing us throughout the day-to-day, yes, -day, how you took care of us how you watched over us as we drove up and down yes. the dangerous streets and highways yes, and byways. Yes. We thank you, O oh God, for keeping us, O oh God, from all evil, hurt, mm -hmm. harm, and danger. Yes, we Lord. thank you, O oh God, for having a right mind yes. to worship you, to hmm. praise you, to yes, serve Lord. you, God, yes. and to give your name glory and praise yes, and honor Lord. because you alone deserve it all, Father. Yes. Thank you for looking beyond our faults yes. and seeing our need. Huh. God, yes, forgive Lord, us for the sins you. that we've committed, oh God, consciously and unconsciously. Yes, Lord. Lord, wash us and purge us, yes. purify us and cleanse us, Lord, from all unrighteousness, from all sin, Lord, and from all dead works. Yes, Lord. Allow us to come before your throne tonight, God. Allow us to come in tonight and love on you, oh God, to praise you, oh God, and to even, God, to worship you in spirit and in truth, God. We ask that you would come in now, Holy Spirit. Yes. You are welcome in this place. You're welcome, You're Lord. welcome in this uh, lesson tonight, God, to yes. teach us, God, as we teach your people, yes, God. Lord. We pray that we would decrease and you would increase. Yes. And that you would teach us your hidden truths, God. Make known unto us, oh God, give us your revelation, wisdom, yes. and the word yes. of knowledge, and the spirit of knowledge. Yes, so, Lord. oh God, to be downloaded in us tonight, God. Yes. Let us feel your presence in this lesson. Yes, Lord. Let us see your handiwork, God. Yes. In this ah, uh, in this lesson yes, tonight, God, yes. we pray that you would survey the audience tonight yes, and pray, God, that you would meet the needs of your people, God, yes. people who are calling on you, people, oh God, who are saying, God, help me. Yes. God, I need you. Yes. Can't do this without you, God. Yes, we pray that you would hear and answer prayer tonight, God. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus, touch our pastors and our teachers everywhere. That's preaching and teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, God. Yes, Lord. God, touch those in hospital rooms yes, and convalescent homes. Those who are on yes, hospice, God. Yes. Those who are behind jail cells and yes, prison walls, yes, oh God, who yes. are crying out, oh God. Help, God, yep, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Bless our neighborhoods, God. Yes. Bless our families near and yes, far, God. Yes. Bless those who even we work with on our jobs, yes, God. Who don't know you, God. Save tonight, Save, Master. Lord. Heal tonight, Deliver tonight, God. Yes. We claim your backsliders yes. everywhere tonight, God. In the name of Jesus. Now, God, we decrease. You increase. 
Have your way. Yeah. Oh God, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yes, Lord. We ask it all in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. 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 Again, good evening, everyone. Good evening. We thank the Lord for another opportunity yeah. to sit before you, to bring you the Sunday School Golden Nuggets. Yes. For, this is our fourth lesson for September the 23rd, 2018, yes. the fourth Sunday in September. Already. Already. And we thank God for the lesson tonight. Uh, our lesson tonight is coming out of Genesis, the second chapter, verses 4 through 13. 14. Mm -hmm. And the topic of our lesson tonight, man's first home. Mm -hmm. And in our lesson tonight, we begin a new unit. We begin the second unit of our lessons for the fall quarter, which is uh, for the month of, uh, I mean, for the dates of uh, September 23rd through October the 21st. That's our second unit of lessons. And in our first unit of lessons, we our previous three lessons, we have talked about the beginning of the world. Mm -hmm. God created the world and everything in it. And tonight we begin our second unit. And the topic of our second unit is the beginning of human history. Mm -hmm. The beginning of human history. And it says, throughout, throughout the ages, man has had questions about the beginning of the world. Mm -hmm. Especially the very beginning of human history. How did we get here? Who made the earth and everything that is all around us? It is obvious that these things did not happen by chance, even though some have always thought so. The Bible makes it very clear that God is the creator of the heavens and earth. In our lesson this week, we explore some things about nature and the beginning of man. The aim of our lesson this week, the facts is to show how God <laughs> provided for the needs of man and how man was created. The principle to acknowledge that God is the creator of man and all of nature. The application to take time to honor the God who made us and gave us all things to enjoy. Yes. When God began creating the earth, it was initially empty and barren. At the touch of God's spirit, it was transformed into a place filled with life and usefulness. After God created the earth and everything in it, we read that he made man. The creation of man was very different from everything he had created before this. Mm -hmm. The animals were not made to relate to God as man was. Man was special in God's eyes, and he created us to have a relationship with him. That's awesome. So God created us for a purpose. And I, that purpose is to have a relationship with him. Right. And when I read this lesson, I was thinking, I said, you know, we as God's children, God is our father. He's our heavenly father. We need to have a relationship with our father. Right. It's like having a child and your child never communicate with you. Yes. Mm. Stop and think about it. But some people are like that. Yeah. If, if you have a child and your child never talk to you, they never call you, they never uh, 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 ask your opinion, they never come to you, it's just like they don't have a relationship. Right. But, you know, sadly to say, it's people like that. Right. They don't have a relationship with, with their parents. And the reason why, uh, Superintendent, is because... Sometimes we as parents, we don't show our children the concern or affection right. that they need. The love and, and Right, the, the love, love and concern and the affection that mm -hmm. they need. And so what happened is they'll go and find it in other places. And normally times when people go and find in other different places, the other place would want to try to cut you off from uh, your family, try mm -hmm. to separate you, try, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and it said, in our lesson, it, it's telling us that God provides everything that we need. Mm -hmm. And and we as parents, even our children, our job is to provide what they need. Exactly. Amen? Mm -hmm. So we're going to get right on into our lesson tonight. We're going to turn it over in the hands of our teacher. We have a, a very, this is a very good lesson. It's a short lesson tonight. And we have two outlines tonight. Our first outline is from Genesis to 2nd chapter. 
verses 4 through 7, how things began. A second outline, how things were maintained, uh, verses 8 through 14. Mm -hmm. Good evening, and God bless you, and thank you tonight, uh, Lady Clara Woods, for your nice comment. And Good evening. So Welcome. We uh, we are so humbled and we are grateful that God has given us this assignment. And like I said, uh, we don't take it lightly. We thank God uh, that He is using us to give out the golden nuggets. And mm -hmm. so when you get to your class, you will have something to add, right. and then you can hear what your teacher have to say. And hopefully, it's it's similar. And sometimes it's in a different direction, depending on who's teaching the lesson and what God has given them. But we are so humble. Thank you so much. Amen. This is a very short lesson. It's a powerful lesson. And it makes you look at things differently if you have a spiritual eye. And a lot of times um, people don't use their spiritual eyes to see things. But I, I strive to do that even when I'm watching a movie. I would try to see the spiritual side and get the uh, essence of it. Mm -hmm. um, this is awesome. Our introduction says, let me read the golden text first. It says, God bless the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Key word, created and made. He created with the heavens and the earth. He created all the animals. He created all those things but he made man. Mm -hmm. Genesis 2 and 3. The introduction says <clears throat> there is an adage that says Home is where the heart is. Various ideas might be communicated in this phrase. Perhaps it means that people long to be home more than anywhere else. Some think it means that your true home is the place where the person you love the most is. So it is a place where you enjoy being more than any place else you could be. At home, we can be ourselves. We have a place where we can eat and sleep safely and where, I'm sorry, and where we are sheltered from the elements of the weather. Like it is outside right now, it's raining. Hmm, yes. Those who have no home or those who have no, who serve the military forces cannot enjoy such comforts. Ah, uh, how thankful we should be for home. Mm -hmm. The Bible students think that what is recorded in Genesis 2 is a second account of creation written by a different author. They often think this based I'm sorry, they often think this based on the different facts recorded in each chapter. A careful examination of those facts, however, reveals that added information is given in chapter two, information that helps explain some of the events that occurred later on in man's history. All right. This is an outstanding lesson as he said to outlines how things began Genesis 2, 4, and 7, and how things were maintained, Genesis 2, 8 through 14. You want me to read 4 through 7? Go ahead, please. Okay, Genesis uh, second chapter, verses 4 through 7, and it says, These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth where they were when, when they was created, mm -hmm. in the day that, God, that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Mm -hmm. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth, and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. God had a plan. Mm -hmm. And his plan included you and me. Yes. And this is so awesome. He had already prepared several things for man before man came along. So I don't want you to think man was an afterthought. No. Right. He was in preparation of getting uh, this earth in uh, uh, order for man. Mm -hmm. And what happened is he... Make sure, we remember we talked about the firmaments in the heavens and underneath the earth. And we talked about how uh, you hung the moon, the sun, and the stars in mm -hmm. the solar system. And right. how those things are still occupying. They're still mm -hmm. doing what God has, God, when God said, let there be. And you got to remember how that 
Uh, he uh, created animals and cattle and creeping things and fish. All of that stuff was in the first six days. Uh, and it was uh, it's amazing how that uh, he had a plan and he put the beautiful green uh, carpet grass and he mm -hmm. put flowers and he put shrubs and herbs and he put trees of all kinds, fruit trees and trees that even bear nuts. Come on, y'all. Mm -hmm. He put all that uh, in place just for man. Mm -hmm. And what happened was when he got ready to um, make man, he put his own handprint. He put his own his hands on our bodies. Mm -hmm. What well, he formed the right. legs, he formed mm -hmm. the arms, he formed the fingers, the toes, mm -hmm. uh, the torso of a man, and yes. he 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 formed. Oh, come on, even he put in the muscles and sinews and mm -hmm. the veins and the blood corpuscles and the red and the white. And he had a plan because he said, "Let us make what man in our what image and in our likeness." And what we, and what really put the icing on the cake, if you will. Because as long as man was made from the dust, the lowest not time. even not even the dirt, the dust. The dust. Have you ever cleaned your house and you see the little dust bunnies? The dust. He made man from the dust hmm. of the ground. And what he did, he farmed it. And what he did, when he took time, like he said, let us... It wasn't just God himself. It was God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And what happened when he blew into uh, man's nostril, that Spirit of God came inside of man. As long as before he blew into that dust, it was just dust. Mm -hmm. It was just laying there. No movement. It was no Come on, it was no type of uh, uh, energy there, nothing. It was just dust. Just dust. And think, of, and, and think about how, when you was growing up, how you played in the desert. Yeah. And you and you saw that the wind come up and it just blew up a, a puff of dust. Yeah. Just like I ran across the dusty fields. Mm -hmm. and, and you look back and you see the dust. The dust. Just dust. The dust. Exactly. But as long as the dust was just laying dormant, nothing, until God blew his breath mm -hmm. into the man's nostril and man what became what, a, a living, living soul. soul. The dust began to have actions. Right. He could move. He could look. He could think. Yes. He could interact with he God. He could interact with God. Yes. And God wanted what? He, he couldn't do that with the animals. Right. But he wanted someone like him. Like him. And who could think, you know, mm -hmm. I, I like to be around people that's a, that think they're thinkers. I, I, I do. Because when you're around people who are thinkers, you can, you can grasp. Mm -hmm. And what happened, it gets your wheels to turning and, and moving. Mm -hmm. and, and what happened, it brings uh, uh, some type of uh, uh, satisfaction to your being. When you're thinking even outside your own box. Right. And you listen to other people talking and stuff. And you you, you, you gain uh, knowledge. You gain uh, uh, in, insight. You gain right. information. And information is powerful. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine that God wanted to have a relationship with somebody that he can what? Talk to. Somebody right. that can relate. It's good to relate to people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you are off balance... And you can't relate. It's draining. Yes. It really is. It's draining. It's, mm. it, it really is. It's draining. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, let me see where we are. Okay. Um, six, okay, we hit. Okay, yeah, this is what I wanted to hit on. So, every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. Mm -hmm. He had prepared all this stuff, but there was what no man what to till the ground. Mm -hmm. And there was no rain back at that time. And I remember when I was reading the background of this lesson, I remember when I was living in Los Angeles, and in the fall of the year, early winter for us, we didn't have snow in 
in Los Angeles. I, to my understanding, it's been times they didn't have some serious hailstorms and stuff over there since I've been gone. But in the prior years when I was there, our our winter was like cold because the air would come off the ocean and it was real, real cold. But in the daytime, sometimes it would be hot, but at night it would be cold. And then what happened is it would be a fog <laughs> that would come in. And this fog was so thick that you couldn't see it. Mm -hmm. You couldn't see in front of your, your hand in front of your face. That's how thick it was. Mm -hmm. And so when I was reading this, because there was no rain, when fog comes in, it has moisture to it. Right. And so just like when you wake up in the morning and there's dew on your grass or dew on your flowers and stuff, that's how the earth was what maintaining uh, uh, its, um, its, 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 its moisture through that type of either, um, what, do you, what do you call it that come from the ground? Mist. Mist that mm -hmm. come up from the ground and or the fog that may have rolled in or something because of the temperature during the day versus at night. Mm -hmm. And so what happened is that's how the earth was being watered at that time. It was no such thing as rain. Right. Isn't that something? So. And it says, but there went up a mist, there it is, from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust that we go of the ground and breathed into his nostrils and breath of life, and man became a living soul. Mm -hmm. That's, awesome. That's awesome. I used an analogy once before. We have a closet full of clothes, and guess what? Those clothes are dormant until we put them on our body. Right. And that's how that man was, you know, he, just, he was just dust. He just laying there yeah. until the Lord. Lifeless. Lifeless. Until the Lord blew into his nostrils, he became a, what? A living. He had, what, capability of movement. Uh, like I said, he had thought um, intellect, he had thought patterns, and the whole nine yards and stuff. So when we go and change our clothes, we put something on, we want to look our best and something, we make those clothes what come alive, don't mm -hmm. we not? It, it, before, you, before you go into mm -hmm. the second line, it's, it's like, a, it's like we was like a mannequin. Yeah, dead. Dead, just, just still. Lifeless. Lifeless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And our second outline uh, and it says how things were maintained. I'm going to let you read that too. Okay. Okay. And I'll go. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there He put the man whom He had formed. Now this is a special place. This is where Adam lived. Mm -hmm. This is a special place. And like our different homes, some people live in cottages, some people live in apartments, some people live in estates. Some people live in a two-story house. Some people live in a single-family home. But home is home. Mm -hmm. Have you just... I mean, there's no place like home. No place like You can home. go visit family far away yes. and you get excited to get there. And all of a, all of a sudden, the accommodation sometimes is not what you are normally used to. But you put up with it because you know you're with family. But as soon as you get back in the car, you can't wait what to get mm -hmm. home. Yep. There's no place like your house and no place like your own bed. That's right. It isn't. And so what happened is uh, he made a special place for Adam. Mm -hmm. And what happened is he, he, he planted beautiful fruit trees all around. And everything that was accessible for him, God gave it to him. He, mm -hmm. he, he, he didn't have to work for it. It was right. there. It was just placed in a beautiful place, plush, plushness, uh, flowers, herbs, grass, uh, and then what happened is Eden was like the most beautiful place ever because what happened is even the animals, you got to remember, animals wasn't eating each other then back then. Right. There was nice, it was a peace. Come on. Mm -hmm. There was a peace. There was tranquility. Uh, 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 animals uh, were t getting along together mm -hmm. until the fall. Right. Everything was what in harmony and balance until before it, the fall. Right. Exactly. It got out of control. Exactly. He says, And the Lord planted, verse 8, a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had farmed. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight mm -hmm. and good for food, the tree of life, also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And I was reading in the background also this lesson, and um, the question was asked, why would he put that there? 
why would he put tree of life and then the tree of good and evil? Yes. Oh, tree of knowledge of good and evil. Because remember that God gave us a choice. Mm -hmm. Exactly. He gave us a choice, but he also gave instructions too. And so he wanted to see if we were going to be what? Obedient. Mm. And so what happened is, um, it's just like us right now. We tell our kids, look, I want you to do so, 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 and so. But don't do da, 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 da. They dismiss, I want you to do so, and so, and so, and so. That's, that's your authority to do that. They dismiss that. It's the things that they can't get, they can't have. That's what they go after. That's what they're drawn to. And that's what they're drawn to, the, mm -hmm. what, the do nots. Mm -hmm. And most of us, what, are drawn to uh, the do nots. We're mm -hmm. inquisitive. We want to know. Inquiry minds want to know. Yeah. Come on. That's what we are in, and, this, and, in this society. And, and, it, it, and yeah, you're right. And just think about it. When God put those trees in the midst, you know, it'd be like, hmm. I wonder why. Well, I, I, I wonder I, why I can't eat off that. I wonder why, why we got to go estimating and guesstimating. Why, why, why do we have to do that? Yeah. He just said no. Just and said no, no means no. But again, we have a want to know spirit. And what happens is a lot of times when we want to know something, it's detrimental to us. Yeah. And after we know it, you can't erase it. That's you true. can't forget it. Because you know it now. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know it now. Okay, and he says, And a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from this it was parted and became into four yes. heads. Mm -hmm. So there was a well, a river in the midst of the garden, and I, I guess yeah, it went it, it out, branched out and it branched off. To, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it says the name of the first is, I think it's, it's Pizan, that is it which compasseth the whole land of Havilah. Where there is gold. Mm -hmm. Now, isn't that something? Didn't he set Adam up? Mm -hmm. There was fortune there. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It doesn't state why the gold was there. But it was there. And it says, uh, and the gold of that land is good. There, I think it's Beldenum and the on and on mm -hmm. Anak stone. Mm -hmm. And the name of the second river is Gion. Uh, the same... It is that compasseth the whole land of Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. And the name of the third river was Hedekal. That is it which goeth toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river, Euphrates. Mm -hmm. Now, you know what? This is talking about Eden and the location. And then in the background of my lesson, it was talking about that Eden was um, like in where Assyria Babylon, Iraq, mm -hmm. all those uh, uh, countries and things over there. Mm -hmm. And it was really something. I have to go back to the time when the United States had that thing with Hussein. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. And when they found that man, he had all that money. And that was U.S. money. Hmm. And he had a, he was in that whole palace. palace with all that money. Yeah. And you know what? They had actual what, gold. It wasn't like this stuff we... Dip it a little, what do you call this stuff? We dip it in like, make it look like it's gold. No, they have pure gold. And this is what it talks about in here. That particular place, uh, Eden, it, uh, in the Pizan, what it's talking about. Yeah, Pizan, it had real pure gold. And so what happened is, I mean, God is, he had everything at Adam's, what, fingertips. Everything that he needed, food, water. And I was listening to somebody today at uh, a place where I went, and it says, one thing about it, there's enough water everywhere. He said, we are not in no rash for no water. Hmm. I said, wow. But we're in rash for food in places. And some places are in rash for water. Right. We're in rash for clothing and homes in some places. Because what happened is had Adam stayed in the right path where God wanted him, can you imagine we wouldn't be in all this chaotic mess that we're in right now. Mm -mm. There wouldn't be people starving, hungry, and ill, and sick. There would there was no sickness. There wouldn't be no type of uh, murder, and there wouldn't be no type of fights and quarrels and all that stuff. Because none of that stuff existed before the fall. Yeah, It was very peaceful. And so what happened is, man's first home, God had set him up royally. 
He furnished everything. 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 That he needed. That he needed. Mm -hmm. And that goes back to even when we um, um, couples, when we want to get married, it's the man's responsibility to set up everything, the place, to make sure there's food in the place, there's running water, that you have clothes, that you're secured, and that you're safe. That's the man's responsibility. But we're so backwards now, the women do all that stuff now, just about. And so what happened is God set an example for men to follow. And because he loved us, he loves us so much that even I heard today that I don't care how much sin you that you commit or you do, it does not outlast his forgiveness. Right. God's forgiveness is ongoing and ongoing. Mm -hmm. That doesn't give us a license to sin. No, it doesn't. It should bring to our uh, to our awareness. You know what? If he loves me this much, I don't want to hurt him. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want him to be upset with me. I want to do right by him because he's doing what right by me. And you know, God. God is so loving and so compassionate and and so forgiving. He could have just turned his back and ended it all right there. Yeah, he could have. But he didn't. But he didn't. He, he, he's Thank a you, God Lord. of a second chance. Thank he's you, He's a Lord. forgiving God. Yes, he and, is. And, it, it, and I was reading in the background, it talked about, you know, how beautiful Eden was. Yes. But you know what? God has prepared a better place. Come on, Can now. you imagine that? A better place. But, Ooh, but Jesus. We, but we got a responsibility. Yes. If we want to. If we want to get to that better place, we got something we got to do. You know, I, when I was reading that portion of the lesson, I got so excited because just think about what we're going through right now. Elections are coming up. People are pulling off the cover out of people's lives and stuff and talking disrespectful and undermining people trying to get what they're trying to get. And I was thinking about it, and the lesson said that we are looking forward to a new home, mm -hmm. a new place. A new place. And it, it was going to be even better than the Garden of mm -hmm. Eden. I said, good right. God Almighty. Uh, if you don't know Christ Jesus, yes. uh, you're going to miss it. Yes, Lord. And it talks about when Jesus said, I'm going away to prepare a place for you. And where I go, there, there you may, may be also. also. And he says, in my father's house were are many mansions. Many mansions. Mansions. He ain't talking about no apartment buildings, no cottages. Mm. He said mansions. That's that's more than what we are living right now. Mm. I mean, think about the streets are paved with gold, pure gold. Wow. And so shiny is almost transparent. Yes. It's God Almighty. But you have to accept Christ Jesus and as your saved. Lord and Savior. Yes. And when you do accept him, you got to turn. Got you can't keep traveling the same road you're on and thinking you're going to make it in. No, you got to give up that stuff. You got to give up the, those things that so easily beset you. You got to have a mind like, you know what, I'm not, I'm not doing that no more. I'm not interested. I don't want to be bothered with that. And if somebody is trying to uh, pull you away, no, no, I ain't got time for you either. You got to make up a concrete decision and make up your mind. If, where are you going to live, what? Mm -hmm. Eternity. Right. If you want to stay in the vein that you're staying in right now, and you think you're on easy street, or you think you got it made, and it don't take all this, I, 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 I um, mm, that's the word I'm looking for, Jesus. Right. I, I beg to differ with right. you, because what happened is the Bible says right. that you got to, what, make a, what, a complete what turn? Yes, a 180. A 180, not a 360. Right. A 180 turn, mm -hmm. where your face used to be, your and your back. Come on, you got to switch that thing, mm -hmm. and mean what you say, and stay on that path. Right. Stay on that path. What happened is people are leaving out of here every single day, every minute, every mm -hmm. second of the day, and you know what? You got to make sure that you have what accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior in order to be able to be able to go home with him and live with him throughout eternity in that new home, right. in that new place. And we that's why it's so important that we have to accept Jesus. We have to come to Jesus because we don't know when he's going to call us out of here. You don't know it. You don't know it. You don't know you, it. You, 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 we do not know it. So mm -hmm. we got to be ready. Got to be ready. We got to be ready every day, every minute, every second. Of every hour, we got to be ready. And for a Christian, that's a hope. 
and the expectation that we yes. wait for. Yes. Knowing because we have what given our lives to the Lord Jesus right. Christ, that we will wake up in glory with him or either yes. we will be what raptured up out of here with him. And you know what? Look at it like this, and and which is true. Okay. We're gonna be rewarded. Yeah. For doing what thus says the Lord. What thus says the Lord. And and, and and we can't even imagine. We can't even fathom in our mind how beautiful it's gonna be. No, we can't. Sometimes I be trying to think, like, what is heaven gonna be like? You know, because <laughs> television depicts it one way, and what happened is, um, you have to read your your word because what the word says is totally different what television depicts. But we can't even fathom in our infinite mind. Right. We cannot even dare to even try to even think about it. But as the Bible uh, gives you a glimpse. a glimpse of it, an illustration, you can only use your finite mind to mm -hmm. say, wow, that's going to be awesome. Yes. That's going to be really, really awesome. Amen. It's going to be really, really awesome. Amen. I um, pray and hope that. Uh, as you all read your lesson for this weekend coming, like I said, it's a very short lesson. And it's like the second chapter of Genesis glimpses back. To the first chapter. To the first, like giving mm -hmm. it a summary, if mm -hmm. you will. Mm -hmm. uh, and the only difference in chapter two is when God makes man. Right. And other than that, it, lists, it looks back at the handiwork of God and gives a summary with all that he did mm -hmm. and summarizes up some things and stuff. And because what happened is in further, I don't know if it says it in here. I don't know if I didn't read that or not. And you, well, but you know, why, you, why are you looking for that? Yeah, we got to remember so. that in chapter two, that's where human history begins. Okay. H human history begins. I was looking for something. Um, doo -doo 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 yeah, so, yes, the animals were created. Yes, in chapter 2, uh, before it gets into and let us make man, it also talks about how Adam names the animal. Right. He names every animal, and I'm going to read that right quick, and it says, And out of the ground the Lord formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air, that's verse 19, and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all the cattle, and to the file of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found an help meet for him. So that's going into our next lesson, I believe it is, mm -hmm. uh, next week. But again, like I said, Adam was the one who named all the animals and the cattle and the creeping things and the beasts and all that stuff. He named them. Mm -hmm. And so what happened is, um, uh, like I said, chapter 2 is a summary of what all God had done. There's some other uh, insights in there uh, that you have to read on your own. And then what happened is we're going to stop at uh, the end of chapter 2 after God had made man and formed him in his image and, and after his likeness. And then what happened, we're going to go in to see what happened after that. It's going to get real interesting. Yes. And, and <laughs> while, while you're on that, uh, for, for, can I say it for go next ahead. week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for next week, it's going to pick up, chapter 2, it's going to pick up in verse 15 mm -hmm. through 25. And it's going to consist of what you just started reading. Mm -hmm. A suitable helper for Adam. Right. It's going to be the topic for next week. A mm -hmm. suitable helper for Adam. Right. Verses 15 through 25. That's next week. Okay. And again, do you, you have anything else on this list? No, I don't think so. Okay. Again, we thank everyone for tuning in tonight. Cousin Clara, we really love you. And we thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Uh, we hope that we've said something. We hope that you got a little nugget from what we was talking about. Uh but if, if anybody's watching in the background that's, that, that, uh, that we don't see your name, you're just watching in the background, if anyone that don't know Jesus in the part of the sins, uh, you can become part of God's kingdom. 
by simply repeating this prayer after me, dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I believe that you died. I believe that you died. And rose from the dead. And rose from the dead. To save me from my sins. To save me from my sins. I want to be with you in heaven. I want to be with you in heaven. Forever. Forever. Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. That I have committed against you. That I have committed against you. I hear and now open my heart to you. I hear now open my heart to you. And ask you to be the Lord and Savior of my life. And ask you to be the Lord and Savior of my life. Amen. 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 And if you repeated that prayer, you're amen. now officially part of God's kingdom. And if you're a backslider, you walked out the door, just simply turn around and walk back in. Right. God's standing out there just waiting on you, welcoming you back into his arms. Just simply ask God, forgive me. Uh, I, I'm sorry I walked away. Yes, please forgive me, please Lord. Forgive me. Please accept me back yes. into your arms, into your kingdom. Yes. And he will because yes, he's he will. a loving and forgiving and uh, gracious and just so just marvelous. Yes, he is. Marvelous. He's marvelous. Yes. He's marvelous. Amen. Amen. I just want to make um, a, a short announcement. Um, what is it? This is the fourth Sunday. The fourth Sunday. Yes, On the fifth, fifth Sunday, I don't believe that we'll be airing. Um, not This is the fourth Sunday? Mm hmm Okay, yeah. We will be airing our morning live um, worship service for Jessica Change at our regular time at 1030. Meet us back next week. For walking in the scriptures and speaking the truth with Pastor Geneva Alexander and yours truly true on Tuesday tonight. night at 8 p.m. and then back here on Friday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I believe it's the fifth Sunday we will not be airing uh, on that Sunday. So we pray and hope that you all who are here in Texas stay safe and don't be riding around. Um, if you have to go out, make sure that you are watchful for flooding. Yes. Um, because they did make um, mention that there's um, flash flooding, flood flash flooding, watches. yeah, flash flood warning watches, and so we want to make sure that you are alert, and also you might want to just want to stay in <laughs> and enjoy yeah. the sound of the rain, and thank God for the rain, thank God for watering the trees and the herbs and the grass yes. and the flowers, and yes. what restoring, replenishing the reservoirs for our drinking water. We thank God for that. Like I said, He supplies everything we need. Keyword need. Amen. Yes. And and you know, I just want to say, you know, we can look around and go at everything that God's created. Mm -hmm. You remember a few weeks back when it was just so hot and it was dry and everything was just parched. Yeah. The grass was brown, at least mine was brown, you know, you beside the highways and the byways, everything was just brown. toasted, just right. brown. Yeah. But look what happened when it started to rain. It bounced right back. It just looked like instantly it just bam. Did you hear what you just said? Everything was parched and dry until he sent the rain and everything would bounce right back. Mm -hmm. Came back to it life. It came back to life. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when we step away from God. We yes. get parched and burnt yes. and we get dried out. Dried out. And we're walking around like mummies and what mm -hmm. happens we have no strength. No strength. But the moment that we would uh, get back to our senses, come yes. back to ourselves and get into the word of God and mm -hmm. get into the face of God. What happened? He replenishes us. Yes. Restore. And what we, come on, we bounce right back. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yes, yes, yes. And everything is so about. green mm -hmm. and oh my grass is growing so fast that you have to cut it every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, yes. But anyway, <laughs> again, we thank you tonight for joining us tonight. Uh, we hope, like I said, I hope we said something to yes. help somebody. God uh, bless you. Somebody's trying to come on. I see him in the background. Uh, God bless you tonight. Uh, we get ready to sign off, but I hope you will go back and review the lesson uh, for your Sunday school class. And again, if you, don't, if you do not have Sunday school, we're just humble and so grateful that God would allow us to See this word into you. That's my pastor, Pastor Renee. Pastor Renee, sweetie, we get ready to go off. <laughs> we had a very short lesson, and so it's talking about man's first home uh, in the garden. And so, if you would like to go back and review what we have stated so far, and um, hope that you would be blessed. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. God bless you. Hope you have a blessed and 
remainder of the week. Have a marvelous weekend and also have a remainder of the upcoming week. Be careful and always stay alert. And remember, we always say, always put Christ first. Amen. In everything. In everything that we do. And everything we do and Amen. say. Amen. Again, we thank you. We love you. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. See you next week.